Yo, what's going on Washington Commanders fans? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about the Washington Commanders bad, bad loss. It was a massacre out there. Do not look at the score. Don't listen to the score because it's telling lies. We should have honestly lost way worse than this. But, you know, the Eagles didn't try at the end. But, yeah, all of our stats came from uh, garbage. They were garbage time stats. So, yeah, we're going to get into that and then um, some of the post-game comments by the team. So, yeah, before we get into that, though, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss another video that I upload. And, yeah, so basically I'm going to just, you know, talk about the stats right now. Um, Carson Wentz uh, threw 225. Uh, for 43, 211 yards, 4.9 average, and he got sacked nine times. Uh, I would say about four or five of those sacks were on Wentz. Um, the line was terrible, but also, like, he just held onto the ball too long when he shouldn't have, and, yeah, he just was awful. The whole team was awful. Really, no one was the bright spot on the offense, you know, um, Terry McLaurin was probably the best, but those were, like, garbage time stats. I wouldn't even consider Terry having a good game. Those were really garbage time stats when it, it didn't matter. When we needed Terry and the other guys to step up, they really weren't nowhere to be found. So, I'm not even going to say that Terry had a good game. Um, but, yeah. For rushing, uh, you know, Gibson had 12 carries. He, I feel like he did good in the beginning. He had 12 carries, 38 yards for 3.2 uh, a carry. And he had a touchdown. His longest run was 11 yards. I think he did good in the first half. And then, you know, in the second half, we didn't really run the ball much. Because, obviously, we're, we were down a lot. But we just did not even try in the second half. The play calling was terrible. Uh, offensive line is terrible. Trey Turner is awful. He's god-awful. Please get him off the field. Trey Turner sucks. Uh, Norwell was getting beat a lot. The, our interior offensive line just, they're not good. It, it was a massacre out there. Um, you know, Carson Wentz, when he did uh, run, he got a chunk of yards. I don't know why he didn't run the ball more often when he were was in situations like that where he couldn't find anyone to get open. He would just stand there like a statue. I didn't understand that. Standing there like a statue, man. It was crazy. Like just throw the ball away. I don't. I don't understand why he tries to. If you're gonna try to ex extend a play, can you at least move around? Like Heineke at least moved around when he was trying to extend plays. Carson Wentz just sits in one spot, and then by the time he actually does try to make a move, he it, he he the, he freaking fumbles the ball. Like I'm so heated right now, but uh, you know they're trying to use Samuel like Debo Samuels. I'm sorry, that's just not what he is. The play calling did not work with the uh Curtis Samuel runs. I, you know, it's creative, but I don't know what they're doing with Curtis Samuel when it comes to running. Sometimes it works. Like the first play of the game, it worked. But after that, they just picked up on it. It did, it didn't work after that. Um JD McKissick, 6 carries for 32 yards, same as usual. Uh he had well, that was for receiving, actually. So he had six rece uh, receptions for 32 yards. And he got targeted nine times. Uh, you know, Dotson, ooh, Dotson, he had that one bad, uh, you know, drop. Uh, that, would, that really hurt us right there because we could have got the first down, but it really didn't matter. It was, it was in the late, you know, it was in the late, it was a late time anyways, but... These guys got to step up. Jalen Hurts killed us. Uh, he went 22 for 35, 340 yards, three touchdowns, and only was sacked three times. Um, and by the time it was the start of the uh, second half, I believe, Wentz was already sacked like six times, I believe. So that was bad. And, yeah, our offensive line has to step up. Defense. Um, defense actually wasn't the reason why we lost this game. Uh, they didn't play well, but they didn't play bad to the point where we got blown out. Like, if offense, offense could have made this a game, but they just didn't give the defense time. Like, the defense was on the field, like, majority of the time. So, it's like, Eagles possession, time of possession was crazy. Um, 
compared to ours. Like, we, and then it was like, I think at the start of the second half, our offense had like a negative one passing yard. It was crazy. It it was so crazy. We were getting clowned on Twitter. But, um, you know, Philly, um, Miles Sanders, he ran for 15 carries, uh, 46 yards. He was okay. He didn't really do much. Um, and Devontae Smith cooked us, especially Kendall Fuller. He was just bullying Kendall Fuller. But one of those catches was not a touchdown, and that is what I'm here to talk about. Ron Rivera, so the Eagles got, you know, it was like a 50-yard pass, I believe, to Devontae Smith. A 45-yard pass to Devontae Smith, right? So they had to move all the way down to 45 yards. You're telling me that Ron Rivera couldn't get, he couldn't have fine enough time to run all the way down the field and hurry up and throw the red flag and throw the challenge flag. That is pitiful. He throws it right when the place is in progress. I've never seen anything like it. Ron Rivera is just making boneheaded decisions, and I don't know. He has to go. Um, he's just he's an old head. He has to go. His coaching does not work anymore. You know, this is not the early two thousands anymore. Uh, late nineties. I'm sorry, but his coaching his coaching is not good. Um, he's just getting outplayed. Um, you know, his coaching. His coaching methods do not work anymore. Let's just be honest. He's he's not that good anymore. He's got to go. By week eight, like, Jack Del Rio also has to go. I know his defense didn't play that bad today, but, well, they, they still got, you know, they played bad, actually, but it wasn't, it, this was defense's probably best game of the se- season so far because they didn't give up 30 points. So, you know, that was probably their best. Uh, defensive performance. You know, St. Juice was really our only bright spot on the defense. Bobby McCain broke up a pass. But other than that, he was still getting beat. These guys still were getting picked on. Like, they were inconsistent. Kendall Fuller is not who you think he is. He's not that good. Um, And that and Wild Goose is, oh, my gosh, he's not good. He got burnt almost every play. Every time I looked up, he was almost getting burnt. It, it was just... It was crazy, but our secondary was obviously bad. Um, you know, uh, signed Deron Payne. We have to give Deron Payne his money. He was only really the bright spot, too. Our really only bright spot on the uh, D-line. You know, Jonathan Allen did his thing, too. Um, yeah, really, it was it was just all over the place. A.J. Brown had five receptions for 85 yards, one touchdown. They were bullying us. Darius, um, Darius, uh, Dallas Goddard, he had a touchdown, and yeah, that was really it, they just cooked us, um, defense was horrible, they weren't horrible to the point where, like, it was, like, you know, the first two games, but they still weren't that good, obviously, but you can't blame them, because they were gassed, so if we, this loss is not really on the defense, it's on the offense, Offense sucks. Play calling sucks. And, yeah, I really just, you know, even though Ron Rivera is most likely going to play out the whole season, which he shouldn't, but he will because Dan Snyder just really does not have power at all to do anything. So, yeah, Ron Rivera is probably going to play his contract out here, sadly. It's not good. We're probably the worst. We're the worst team in the division right now. Not even right now. I think we're overall, like, every team has gotten better but us. Like, the Giants are going to be better than us this season. They probably might start off 3-0. and They might beat the uh, the Cowboys, to be honest. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. We just got obliterated. And the score is really telling lies because this should have been a really a blowout. This should have been a blowout. Like, 24-8 to eight is not really a blowout, but... Man, this, the score is lying. Don't even look at the score. But, yeah, basically that's it for today. Um, You know, we got blown out again. I'm, I'm not even, like, like, really shocked. It's just I'm disappointed we didn't put up a fight, really. Like, I thought we would have at least scored some points. I thought offense would have looked good and then defense would have just looked how they did the first two weeks. But it was the complete opposite defense tried their best they actually looked like they were trying um but offense they got to be better and that includes Wentz Wentz has to be better and Wentz offensive line has to be better Trey Turner is buns 
uh, Norwell, Leno was buns. He had that flag. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. We played terrible. And let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. And, yeah, until next time, guys, peace. Mm -hmm.